Right, I'm here with uh, Peter de Groot and Simon Stromberg. Peter's uh, a specialist in the economics of uh, media, and Simon works for the Cultural Administration in uh, Stockholm. And we've been talking about what's happening to local papers, what's happening to the rise of uh, community-based media, and also a new breed of uh, cross-media social entrepreneurs. But um, Peter, your speciality is um, in newspaper economics. I think most of the newspapers are going down currently. Uh, that's almost all over Europe the case, and even in uh, the United States. In, I think there's only one newspaper in the United States that, that is going slightly up, which is basically the Wall Street Journal, and the rest of them have got, have got uh, uh, figures going down with 10% uh, or even more. So in, if that development goes on in a few years, then we don't have any newspapers in the traditional form anymore. So you're um, teaching young journalists. What's the future for them? What are you telling them? Well, I'm telling them that they uh, have to be broad journalists, that they have to uh, work in uh, probably a variety of environments, which means that they are not only writing for printed paper, but also uh, have to work in video environments, and uh, especially for the internet and mobile services, because uh, I think these have the future, and well, rather more than the printed paper. Simon, what do you see uh, happening uh, in Sweden? Um, I would say that many of the new interesting journalists, they're also very much of social entrepreneurs. So what they're doing, they, I mean, they not only stick to the journalist part. I mean, they're still they're working for bigger newspapers, TV channels in one part, doing projects together with them, but could also do another type of a conference or whatever uh, to raise their, their, their questions. So it's, it's, uh, it's the social part of it, that's entrepreneurship. It's really important. And also that they, they would like to start their own companies today and run it from their own base with maybe a couple of friends, maybe alone and do it together with friends that have their own companies and, and from that platform build the, the, what they're doing today. So um, they're really becoming cross-media communication specialists and do they see themselves as news people or journalists? Are those meaningful phrases for them anymore? Um, I think there's, of course, there's quite a lot that still want to be journalists and work in that field. But, Spread but, opinions. Yeah, yeah, of course. But but the same, I think that you will see that the uh, among manner of the many of them that we are collaborating with, you can see that they have they have split focuses. In one, in, in one project, they could be the journalist, and in another, they do totally something else. So the crossover, yes, indefinitely. Uh, and I think that they also will use the, uh, the titles in different parties too. Sometimes they are journalists, but sometimes they call themselves something totally different. And at the same time, um, in the UK and I think elsewhere, we're seeing a growth of community bloggers, people who see themselves rooted in their community, concerned about the, the uh, social issues in their communities. Are they a different group of people, or is this all part of the, the, the same ecosystem, if you like? Um, I would say it could be some difference. Of course, it's, it's the same ecosystem, but maybe in, in different, different ends of it. Uh, I would say that the, the ones that go from one question from the social neighborhood, wakes up the question that they want to, that's maybe one thing. The other one is, is their career. It's a way of, 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 of uh, creating their life uh, by, by working with the social entrepreneurship in, in different ways. So, so there I think I can see it's different because they have a career, career thinking of the two. At the same time as they do good things for the world or for the, wherever they are, uh, they, uh, they, they want to get, uh, get money for it and, and live on it. So they're not, they're not interested in getting employment. While the other ones that's working in the, in the neighborhood context only, they, they have a, maybe one question issue or something, and that, that might be a slight difference. But they, they, what they have in common is that they're using the social media in, in, the, in, the, in the service of change. So Peter, you're working on the uh, Media Coach programme, there's a crossover with that, so we'll go and explore some other conversations perhaps about where Media Coaches uh, fit into this. Well, I would advise you to visit some of them and uh, ask them what they think of their environment. What I can tell you is that uh, all media environments are uh, developing rapidly. 
and uh, what we have, uh, and especially due to uh, the change of technology, that we uh, have a low, low threshold in order to start new things. And in the past, uh, the value chain was rather difficult to, to, to enter, and now I'm rather talking about a value web than a value chain. And in the value web, it's rather easy to, uh, start, an uh, to start as an entrepreneur, I think, at the moment.